Hello, Internet friends. So ILM is no longer available on the Star Wars Galaxies Legends launcher, which is a shame. I've heard from a lot of people who are missing it. We can't bring it back, but we can still use Reshade. So this video is going to be about using Reshade without ILM. Reshade doesn't add any new textures the same way that ILM does, but it allows you to tinker with the graphics, make things sharper, add bloom, all kinds of graphical tweaks that can make your game look a lot better. So here is how you download and install it. Go to the Reshade website. There will be a link in the description of the video and then download Reshade. Go to the XE in your downloads, click it and then click where it says click here to select a game. We're going to browse to our Star Wars Galaxy client r.xe in your Legends installation folder. A few different options for the rendering API. The Direct 3D 10, 11, 12 is the one that works. So select that. You'll be presented with a number of options for different packages of effects. I'm crazy, so I'm going to download all of them. Why not? You know, they're not a huge amount. They don't take up a, a huge amount of space on a hard drive. And the more options, the better. The size of the download doesn't seem to matter. doesn't affect anything in terms of how well your game runs. Once it's done, you'll get the option to edit reshade settings. If you want to put your shaders and textures, these are the main things that the XE downloads. If you want to put those anywhere else, you can change the file path here. Those two folders are the big ones, the shaders and the textures. There'll also be another file that has appeared, reshade ini, which uh, has some settings options for you. The other files that it's downloaded are not as easy to find because they're not named anything intuitive like reshade. But um, it doesn't change any of the files that are there. It just adds new ones. And uninstallation is pretty straightforward with a, a couple of wrinkles, possibly. But stick around to the end and I'll show you how to uninstall without any issues. The only other setting here before you go into the game is the screenshot path. You can specify where your screenshots are going to go. And once you're in game, you can specify a key. I find this helpful because sometimes with Star Wars Galaxies Legends, uh, my screenshots that the game takes, you know, the game's feature to take screenshots sometimes stops working. So I've relied on reshade a few times for taking my screenshots. Uh, so it's a handy option to have. Once that is done, uh, you can close the box and fire up the game. If everything's gone to plan, you should get a little bar at the top with a tutorial that you can go through. Press the home key by default and just follow the instructions. You can do different presets. So once you've been tinkering in this particular profile, create another profile and, and do some different effects and then easily switch back and forth between them. And then when you go forward, you can see all the different effects that you can apply. And a lot of them uh, are really fun. This one that is yellowed by default is kind of cool. You can create like a comic book effect on everything. So everything's got an outline and it looks slightly kind of drawn, you know, it's like it's been painted. In each effect, you can get really granular with all the different settings and um, really tweak these different things to your liking and get really weird with stuff like the, wa <laughs> the wave, wavy effects and stuff like that. Kind of weird, isn't it? But it doesn't affect the, the way the game runs at all which is something that I think we assume we do something like this, but I haven't seen it affect anything. So the purpose is twofold, it seems to me. Novelty and just doing something different, something cool, maybe do some stylized screenshots. But really you can, once you fine tune some of these settings, some of the more subtle ones, you can actually enhance the game an awful lot and make it look a lot better than it does by default. I'm working on a video right now that shows how I get it to look the way it looks for me in case you're interested in doing that. But it might not be up just yet. I'm working on it right now. So I'll, I'll link it here if it is up and um, hold on if it's not yet. I will be posting it soon. Come down if you want to change your screenshot path. Uh, you do it in the settings and you can also specify a key for taking screenshots, print screen by default. You might have to change that because I think the Galaxy's default is print screen as well. And if you get the same bug as I did, uh, it will stop them taking the screenshot. So you might have to change that around a little bit, but that bug, you might never encounter it. I just have, so I've been using Reshade for my screenshots. So an installation is pretty straightforward. You're gonna go back to the launcher, double click again the XC, then navigate to the Star Wars Galaxies folder again and XE underscore R once more. Then direct 3D that we did previously and then go to uninstall. 
and that should successfully uninstall. Now, if it doesn't, come back to the reshade website, go to the FAQ and scroll down to the installation process and there'll be a list of .dll files here. One issue that I had was I had a previous installation, so I had to manually go in and remove one of these DLL files. They're all listed here, named weirdly, uh, so you have to search through for them. But if the uninstallation doesn't work, make sure you've deleted anything from a previous installation. Obviously, if this is your first time, you probably won't have that issue. So as I say, I have another video working on it as we go. Uh, if it's ready, it will be here for you to click on. Go and watch that video if you want to see my settings and some other stuff, uh, some additional stuff about reshade and the kind of fun things you can do with it. Thanks for watching and take care for now. Bye.